dear friends uh, we had discussed two laws of uh, two two statements of second law of thermodynamics uh, one was the kelvin planck statement and other was known as the clausius statement uh, the kelvin planck statement says that uh, we cannot construct a heat engine whose efficiency is 100% that is any heat engine operating on a thermodynamic cycle it has got to reject certain heat so we cannot have an engine whose efficiency is 100% that is what the kelvin planck statement says and the clausius statement it says that we cannot construct a heat pump or a refrigerator uh, which would pump the heat from a lower temperature to a higher tem temperature uh, without consuming any work okay so that is known as a clausius statement now there are these two statements are said to be the statements of second law of thermodynamics now one might say that okay so this there are two statements one is the kelvin planck statement and other is a clausius statement and perhaps they would mean uh, they would have something different to convey but that is not the case in fact both the statements are equivalent so why are they equivalent and why they should be considered as not second and third statement but only a second statement is because uh, violation of one statement leads to the violation of other statement and uh, that is what we are going to prove we are going to prove that both the statements are equivalent okay so that objective is to discuss the equivalence of kelvin planck and clausius statement so what we would be doing is that we would just discuss two diagrams and from the diagram it would be obvious for us that the two statements are equivalent the method is uh, we would say we would see that if one of the statement is violated then that leads to a case where the second statement also stands violated so that is how we are going to prove so in the case one uh, we would consider a case where the clausius statement is violated and then we would go on to show that it also means that the kelvin planck statement is violated so let us consider a case let us assume that the clausius statement is violated so this is a case this is a, a case of where the clausius statement is violated why is the clausius statement violated because you see here that this is a heat pump which is operating without any work input without any work input and actually clausius statement says that this is not possible but we are assuming on the contrary that this is a heat pump which is pumping the heat without any work input so let us say this is a heat pump which is pumping the heat q1 from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir so because the work is zero so this is q1 this has to be q1 also we would consider a case where there is a engine which obeys the kelvin planck statement okay so let us say this is a engine which obeys the kelvin planck statement so a engine obeying the kelvin planck statement is what uh, it is taking certain heat and rejecting certain heat and the difference is converted to work so the work is difference between q1 and q2 okay so this is a case which obeys the kelvin planck statement now what we are going to do is that we'll consider that this is a combination machine okay so now we will not look at heat pump individually and heat engine individually instead of that we will look at this entire combination so if you look at this entire combination what we would be doing is that we would say that this q1 which is being pumped by the heat pump goes to the heat engine okay it goes to the heat engine so when this q1 goes to the heat engine there is no need of a reservoir okay so directly whatever is the heat which is pumped from the colder reservoir that is being taken to the heat engine without any need of hot reservoir why do we require reservoir to supply heat but what we are doing here we are not supplying heat from the reservoir now what we are doing is that we are channeling this heat q1 to this heat engine for this combination and you will find that if you look at this uh, combo a combo of heat pump and heat engine uh, what is the heat which is being uh, rejected now in this case the heat is rejected is q2 by this okay and you would see that uh, the heat rejected is q2 by this heat engine but if you take a combo you would find that the heat supplied is zero heat supplied is zero and 
द वर्क इज क्यू वन माइनस क्यू टू वर्क इज क्यू वन माइनस क्यू टू ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस यू फाइंड दैट दिस दिस कॉम्बिनेशन हीट पंप एंड हीट इंजन कॉम्बिनेशन इज has become a perpetual motion machine of the second kind because it is exchanging heat with the single reservoir and it is generating work while exchanging heat with the single reservoir now this is not possible according to kelvin bank statement it means that this combination violates the kelvin bank statement okay so what we had assumed first we had assumed that the causal statement was violated and we went on to prove that this leads to the violation of kelvin bank statement and because this has happened we would say that the clausius statement and kelvin planck statement they mean the same okay similarly uh, we would prove that violation of kelvin planck statement also results in the violation of clausius statement so now for that we would assume a engine which violates the kelvin planck statement that is a perpetual motion machine of the second kind means what it is a engine which exchanges heat with the single reservoir and does not reject any heat so let us say that there is a engine which is a perpetual motion machine actually of the second kind which takes heat q1 and converts the entire amount of heat, uh, heat to work which is not possible according to kelvin planck statement but we have assumed on the contrary so we have assumed on the contrary that there exists a case which violates the kelvin planck statement okay so now uh, we again assume a heat pump now but this time this heat pump would obey the clausius statement obeying the clausius statement is what it is pumping the heat from a lower temperature to higher temperature but not without work input but with some work input and we will consider that that work input is the same as the work which is produced by the heat engine perpetual motion machine of the second kind okay and now we would look at the combination okay every time we would look at the combination so now this combination if you analyze what you would find is that this leads us to a heat pump if this combination now becomes a heat pump okay and this heat pump what it is doing is that if you look at this is q1 and this is q1 plus q2 this q1 would cancel and what this heat pump is doing is that it is pumping the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature without any work input there is no external work input see this this work input is from this engine okay and we are now considering this engine also as a part of the uh, machine okay so if this combination is considered now that is a combination of perpetual motion machine of the second kind of heat pump you would find that this has lead to another heat pump now which is pumping the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature but without any work input which is a clear case of a clausius uh, violation of clausius statement because violation clausius statement says that we cannot pump the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature without any work input but what you are finding here is this combination becomes a heat pump which is pumping the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature without any work input so what we have proved now is violation of kelvin planck statement results into violation of clausius statement so both this proves case 1 and case 2 they lead us to a conclusion that both the statements of the second law of thermodynamics namely the kelvin planck statement as well as the clausius statement they mean one and the same that is they are equivalent okay thank you very much bye for now